That's cool. Okay, now your Halloween spooky prank board is ready. It works best at night. Nobody would suspect the thing. Just looks like a regular Halloween decoration as they walk by to get their candy. Wow! <laughs> you can make a louder noise. You can get different masks. You can do whatever. But we got this stuff from the Dollar General store, so it's super, super affordable. You don't need to use board if you don't want board. You can use a black blanket, be creative with it. But here's just a suggestion on what you could do in your neighborhood with your family and your parents to scare and spook all your trick-or-treaters. <laughs> nice. It works every time. It's too easy. Dude, we gotta get scarier masks, maybe. Oh, uh, you can just put your faces in there, scary enough. Oh! Outlined holes for our head and our arms, and we're gonna cut through it. Now we start spray painting the board black to hide it in the dark. <laughs> Take your sledgy and start hammering in your steak. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh, that was cool, dude. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Give me your bitch. Get away from me. You want to fight Michael Myers? That's a death wish, bro. What are you thinking? I'm a murdering machine. You don't want to mess with any of this. Halloween! Happy Halloween! What are you looking at? Take my picture. Oh my god! Happy Halloween! Would you like some candy? <laughs> First, you're gonna need a Michael Myers mask. Next, a pair of scary gloves. Next, you're gonna need a one-piece suit to cover your entire body. Next, you're gonna need some boots that go past your ankles. So as you may know, most masks have big, large eye sockets where you can see somebody's in the mask. So here's a pro Halloween life hack tip. Black out the eye sockets, then cut them out one by one, carefully with a pair of scissors. Then carefully cut out a smaller eye hole in your paper so you can look right at them. So when you're done blacking out the eyes and you're about to tape them to your mask, do not use scotch tape. It's gonna get hot inside that mask and this scotch tape will not last. What you're gonna need is some duct tape. You put this duct tape on, those eyeballs aren't going anywhere so you pull them off or somebody punches you. Now you're gonna wanna put on your one piece suit and pay attention to detail. So for this prank to work at its best, you're gonna wanna look like a dummy. Luckily, it's not that hard for me to do. Anyways, you're gonna take newspapers and you're gonna stuff them in your sleeves and your feet, your feet where your boots are. Just want it to look like that this is not a person inside of a costume, but a dummy stuffed with newspapers. So take it from an expert. When you're playing a dummy, you don't want to be stiff as a board. You want to slouch and relax. And that's where it comes into the feet. The reason why we got the boots is it goes higher than the ankles off the shaft. So it gives me some slack to go ahead and sling my leg out and relax it, my foot. But with the shoe, if I relax my shoe, you're going to see that there's a foot in here. You're going to see my skin. You're going to see the sock. It's just not selling. It doesn't sell the fact that you're a dummy. It looks like somebody's in there trying to prank you. Now you're gonna need a hook to bring your marks in. So what are you gonna do? Maybe make a free candy sign, get a bucket of candy, put it on your lap, draw people in to come and grab a piece of candy, scare the crap out of them. Or maybe put a take a selfie sign up, get people to come take a picture with you, and then scare the crap out of them. If neither of them work, even though you have the props, just go after the people walking by as they're staring at you on, 
I wonder if that's real. Blah! What's up, everyone? I just want to wish you all a very happy Halloween coming up. What are your costumes going to be? Let me know down below in the comments. However, I really want to know what kind of puppet do you think the crazy Russian hacker would be? You know, Taras Cool, the safety is number one priority guy. I want to know what kind of puppet he would be because I have a kid show I started. It's called Piley Pals. I made it for my kid. It's Puppet. Some of you guys probably seen it and going, what is going on? It's a kid show I made for my kid. And Taras, I want him to be a puppet in it for one of the episodes. And I don't want him to change his voice at all. So it's the same voice. I just need to know what kind of puppet should I get for him. Let me know in the comments below. I've been grinding and putting all my energy into my son and his recovery. And I just want to give you guys an update. He is doing so well. Super playful, very happy kid. Um, I just love being a dad. I'm so lucky to be his father, and I hope he will say the same thing about me one day that he'll feel lucky that he's my son. I mean, I don't know if you guys have any kids out there watching right this second, but there is nothing more powerful than the love for your child. I can definitely say there has been nothing that could ever take me away from YouTube, ever except for my kid. He did it, especially when he needed me most. So I don't know if you know, but in 2016, I got the craziest, like, life, you know, ah. I don't know how many of you know that are watching this right this second. Some of you probably never even seen this channel before in your life, you just like popped in, but in you know, 2016, my kid was diagnosed with leukemia. It's a blood cancer, and that was devastating. That took uh, pretty much all my attention ever because I mean I love when I love I love I love you I'm gonna love you hard and so obviously there's nothing more I love in this world than my son so I thought I was pretty well prepared for anything uh, and then I never thought in my life that my child would be diagnosed with cancer so that took <laughs> that, that was tough um, and I didn't know how to process that. I didn't know how to, I still don't know how to, um, do YouTube at the same time because it's just powerful, you know? It's powerful, um, uh, mind bender that takes away all your attention and energy, especially, you know, my son at the time was not even two, you know, and, uh, and I just wanted to make sure he smiled every day. And I wanted to make sure he felt as good as he could given the fact that a lot of the medicine probably didn't really make him feel that great. And it's hard to, it's hard for a two year old to tell you how he's feeling. You know, he can't use his words. He can't really communicate well. So I just did my best to make him smile and, and, and have fun as much as possible and then whenever the hard times come, show them that I have a very comfortable chest right here for you to lay down and get comfortable and I will sit there and cuddle you all day and I will give you as many bottles as you want and I will sing you songs and I will just not talk at all and I'll sleep with you, I'll lay with you, I'll do whatever you need just so you know that you got this big giant daddy bear to protect you and be there for you when you need me most. Um, you know, it's painful if you are not there for them when they need you the most. Especially if they are expecting you and you don't show up or something. That's tough. That hurts. You're supposed to come to YouTube to escape. And so for the channel, I felt like I wouldn't be a good escape for you because I am going through my own thing. I need to escape too. Um, so I tried Twitch out. I tried different games. So, you know. But the only thing that makes me happy is Alex. The only thing that makes me feel good is parenting. It used to be different stuff. I guess that's just maturity or whatever you want to call it. But the only thing that makes me feel good is making my son smile, be happy. Getting any kind of reaction out of him um, makes me feel tremendous. Makes me feel like I had a 10 million views on a video. Makes me feel like... I have purpose and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, like my passion. So when I was at the hospital with my son and we're, they were there for 30 days, my cousin sent me two puppets and she's like, hey, 
um, got you two puppets, you know, play with these with Alexander, kids love puppets. And so I did. And Alex loved the puppets, and I did too, because I can do different voices and have a lot of fun. Be creative and imaginative, and just anything can happen when you have a puppet. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, and after the hospital, there was five months of pretty much, like, quarantine, where... We had to stay home, we couldn't go outside, couldn't stay out of public, you know, because the medicine is impacting his immune system, it makes him at risk for exposure for something that, you know, um, his body may not have the energy or power to um, handle and it could make him more sick. So for five months we were at home and so puppets were great, toys were awesome, you know, I was just like a big kid playing around, having fun and just trying to have make the best of it uh, and all this qual give my son as much quality time as I can and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone um, of my subscribers and any single person who watched one second of my videos because if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't have been able to take the past two years to give to my son my time and uh, that was tremendous like if the success I had for YouTube or the success I had on YouTube was able to um, allow me to be there for my son um, when he needed me most and uh, I can't imagine parents that are going or you know any family member that's going through uh, a medical situation and they can't be there because they have to be at work or they can't be there because of their schedule especially in the very beginning um, you know, when it's like all new, and I saw that, I saw these kids there at the hospital and their parents aren't there because the parents have to be at work. You know, the world doesn't stop when you get sick or the world doesn't stop when you're hurt, you know? And so those parents have to go to work and that was tough to see those kids just sitting there, you know, by themselves because the parents are working. Oh, it broke my heart and I have never been more grateful and thankful and I said so many prayers and I've, and I've thanked you guys so many times in my prayers because oh, Alright, let's, let's just uh So through all that experience past two years I was watching these kids shows on YouTube and I thought I could do that I have enough energy, I have enough like creative juices flowing through It makes me feel really good to do it um, so I started a kid show and I started working and thinking about a kid show for the past two years. I actually launched it three weeks ago. Um, two weeks ago we had a little bit of a situation that kind of uh, created more doctor's appointments but it wasn't anything about Alexander's health. It was just uh, more about medical equipment. Uh, so he's doing great and we're on a very good trajectory. Knock on wood, praise God, please, please just keep the good vibes and good thoughts and energy coming towards my son because it's working. So I came up with this idea for a kid's show uh, called, and I came up with the name called Piley. And he's a dog from another planet because my son's favorite animal is a dog. And so created a puppet that kind of resembles a dog, but from another planet so he look more alien. So I created him to be a little bit more alien-like with his eyes and his nose placement. And I gave him an antenna, named it Beeks, B-E-E-X. It's kind of like your Alexa, right? Beeks is Piley's Alexa. It's like a built-in artificial intelligence. So whenever he is curious about something or wants to see it, he can ask Beeks a question and Beeks will answer or show him the answer, you know? So that's cool, he gets to escape that moment and then zap into a situation he wants to learn about and then we learn about it. So Alex loves Piley, I love Piley. A lot of the people that have been watching Piley um, love it. Roman Atwood and Taras Cool the Crazy Russian Hacker, uh, Magic Murray, those guys have done videos with me for Piley. They absolutely love him. Furious Pete, uh, we have one coming up. Furious Pete, Furious Pete, how many fruits can you eat? So, you know, there, there's my pumpkin I made. It's a little Piley carve out. <laughs> we carved it out and painted it, Alex and I. And there's Piley, so I'm gonna try and do a bigger version of it. My voice sounds funny because I'm always talking like this. Like, hey everyone, I'm Piley, hi. Hey man, why are you always so sad for? You're just moping around, life is good, man. Your kid's happy and healthy. 
You know, while it would be probably do a good thing if you picked the camera up more and did stuff like this, even this even counts. Just get out there and film. You see, I'm like cooped up talking to myself. <laughs> um, I also have a fundraiser for my son. It's links down in the description. Um, if you guys want to check that out, that'd be cool. It's it's not for me. It's for his uh, cancer-free kids. It's a charity that gives kids a chance to grow up. You know, so. Uh, it uh, enables that charity to um, fund life-saving cancer research and so I just created like a little fundraiser for Alex in his name for their charity uh, and we're almost at a thousand dollars so that's cool if you guys even have one dollar or if you have a social media and you want to share that link because you think someone else will donate to it that'd be amazing so I just gotta get back on hey guys how's it going so you want to know how to prank huh <laughs> well here why don't you do this one hey, this is a good one you got someone that's a vegetarian feed them some beef <laughs> if I had that energy you know but right now I just want to do some preschool coloring you know I want to do some create and play what can we make out of some squares that's the kind of stuff I like you see it actually brings me out like back to being hey let's go like honestly, I love being a parent. I encourage you to have a kid and be a parent. I mean, it's tough, it's not easy. If you like a challenge, that would be the ultimate challenge to take. Not getting a six pack, not trying to climb Mount Everest, being a parent. I mean, anybody can be a parent, but a good parent. And I encourage and challenge all of you parents out there right now to be the best parent you can be. Read some books about parenting, watch some videos about parenting, talk to some friends about parenting, ask me some questions down below about parenting, but that is the best. And if you're a kid and you have parents, love on them and encourage them, let them know. Man, our feelings get hurt a lot from you guys, man. You guys can say a lot of things that might make us feel really bad. Like, we are doing the best we can, all right, for you. For you watching this right now, if you're watching this right now on a phone and you paid for it, good, good job, all right? But if you're also watching on a phone that your parents pay it, good for them, right? Like, give your parents more slack. Don't be so hard on them. Give them some love, man, because that love is fuel, for me at least. That love is fuel. And if, and if your parents aren't doing that or whatever, I love you, and I'm sorry. Like, honestly, from a, from a parent's perspective, my heart breaks for those kids out there that are alone or sad, you know? I mean, I could like cry right now about it. Like, it breaks my heart. I just wish every kid could be happy and smile. They deserve it, and they don't, they deserve the best. All kids really do deserve the best. And if you're not getting the best, I pray that you'll find some spouse or someone that will give you their best because you deserve it. Hey, <laughs> back, get out of that. Okay, sorry about that, get a little more emotional. I haven't picked the camera up in a while. I just wanted to just check in with you, let you guys know about Alex. I just wanna say thank you one more time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. You know the deal, live inspired, shock the world, and I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, why don't you go check out my kid show? <laughs> Seriously, check out the kids show. I would appreciate that a lot. And if you got a little brother or sister, watch it with them.